Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. showed you guys the generator that we got and I believe I left that video as a to be continued well we contacted Pulsar the manufacturer of the generator the people that we bought it from and basically what they've told us is they ain't nothing they can do about it unless we ship it back to them and the shipping is on us now this thing's 99 pounds and it's got to go to Ontario, Canada. So that means the shipping charge is going to be at least $150. Non-refundable, out of my pocket. It's just, it's crazy. And then if they determine that they're not the ones that broke it, if it got broken in shipping, then we have to contact the carrier and see what they will do to possibly fix it. Now. In the meantime, my generator could possibly be sitting at the factory in Ontario, Canada, where I can't use it for who knows how long. Um, this process could be five, six months, you know, to contact the carrier and everybody else and everybody to determine whose liability and whatnot. Plus, either way, like I said, I'm out at least 150 bucks. No doubt about it. No refund, no so what i've decided to do is i am going to try and repair this cover panel on the front of the generator it's just a plastic panel that has all of the outlets and fuse or uh, circuit breakers and whatnot on it so let's take a look at that and then i'll show you what my plan is Okay, so I've got the circuit breaker, cover panel, whatever you want to call this thing. I've got it loose. Uh, it's got four bolts that hold it to the frame, holds it to the frame on these tabs, and there's two tabs on, on the other side, identical to that. And of course, you can see where this cover is broken. This piece right here. And that's what mounts it to the frame so I've got to try and reattach this and maybe put a reinforcement behind it so that uh, so that it'll stay there and on this side this piece actually broke completely out of it so I'm gonna try and glue that back in although I don't know it uh, it just kind of seems like there's there's more missing there than than meets the eye, I don't know yet. But, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. And I am going to try and do it with JB Weld Plastic Bonder. So I'll give you an update, let you know how that goes, and uh, hopefully be showing you a repaired generator soon. Okay, so let's take a look and see what I've done with the generator here. As you can see, I have used the JB Weld. Uh, it's kind of like an epoxy, it's a two part. You gotta mix it. And uh, anyway, so I glued the pieces back on and you can kind of see the outline in, in the tape where it was broken. But uh, so I've epoxied those back together and I've got this tape on the front and the back on this end uh, to help stabilize it, help uh, keep everything together. And this is aluminum tape, by the way, so uh, it's, it's actually pretty strong. And on this end, I glued that broken piece back in from the back and I put tape all around it and, of course, epoxy. And uh, 
got everything screwed back together and it actually seems to be pretty sturdy so I'm, I'm happy with that and, and that should be good enough for plugging in um, extension cords or whatever to the generator so that is pretty much my fix so definitely a lot cheaper than hundred and fifty dollars to ship it off and then maybe not have it here for who knows how long so uh, this cost me roughly about well if you include the roll of tape maybe twenty five dollars so yeah so that's what I got that's how I, I fixed the cover on the generator and uh, I'll do a video coming up soon where we actually start it up and check it out and see how everything works on it but uh like i said that that'll be in another video so for now thanks for watching really appreciate you guys god bless take care remember pay attention to the details we'll see you again soon bye please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when i'm doing a new video like this video and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think also feel free to share this with any of your social media sites